another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Ike the Explosive One, and we're playing Dr. Decker's Detective Boys. The Hardy Boys are out. We're in. Dun, 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 twist of fate, dog. All right, so starting to feel like Elon may be a little bit of a killer. Oh, you know? well, yeah, because Dr. Decker told her to kill his mom because he well, hated her. We don't know that. We're finding out right now. We're about to find out. He said steal ish did, I'll give what, you her watch. <laughs> what did Dr. Decker mean by take care of Yeah. It was about the second, third session we had. He said he could tell that I was a good person, that I wanted to help people, and that I should think really hard about how I could do that. That's how I discovered shifting. Dr. Decker is Professor X. It seems like he's unlocking powers or something almost to a certain yeah. extent. Like he's the he's definitely a catalyst for a lot of these people in their abilities. Mm -hmm. it, it would be very strange for all of these people with all of these powers to be seeing the same one man. For yeah, like I, maybe, maybe he would be a doggolist. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's the opposite of a catalyst. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> that's, uh, I'm dumb. That's a good joke. Uh -huh. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Was it Dr. Decker's uh, Somebody idea there, for it. you to shift? That's a good question. All Dr. Decker did was encourage me to think. But the shifting, that's all. He's me. like, use your brain, Elon. And my mom's a psychic, and my sister's an empath, but I was just ordinary. Wait. I always felt like I wasn't special, like I was missing out. But I wasn't. I just hadn't discovered what I could do yet. Like, Sarah Decker was one of the first ones I tried shifting for. She turned into mm. Dr. Decker. Mm. Did she just compare being a psychic to being an empath? Because, uh -huh. like, a psychic is, like, a special power, right, supposedly, if you have that ability. But, like, an empath is just, like, being able to have empathy. Like, anyone can do that. No. <laughs> Not anyone can do that. Is that, like, but is that something that you should be, like, proud of? You're like, I'm an empath. I mean, it can... I, I, I've always considered myself an empath uh, to a certain extent. It, not everybody has it on... There's, there's levels to the ish. Like, you can tell if a person's sad, sure. Um, but can you tell, like, in the middle of a conversation where where a person starts to have feelings? Gotcha. Do gotcha. those feelings affect the way you feel? You yeah, know? yeah. I mean, I, I get that. It happens to me all the time, dude, when I talk to people. <laughs> but, yeah, I just didn't realize that it was, like, a special, like, that they, not as, it's not, it doesn't seem like it's as, as niche as being a psychic. No. It, well, psychic would definitely be a little bit different. <laughs> that's yeah, definitely yeah, better. That's, that's what I thought. Oh God, what's an empath? Let's see, let's hear her. Uh... I mean, let's go. To tell you the truth, I don't really know what an empath is. I should probably Google it sometime. So she just said her sister was an empath, but doesn't know what it is. She's just having a lunchroom table talk with us right now. She does not. She's, she's like, yeah, I had the had a bacon sandwich. I don't and my think she's a psychic. Yeah, right. Exactly. I don't think she's a college professor. I, think I love she's a BLTs. Nurse. They're good. That's not a that's not a dog on nurses either. Did you, uh, did you shift for Sarah or how is your mom? Oh yeah, let's see this. Let's see how her mom. My mom's got these spirit guides and they tell her things, mostly about my love life. It would seem. Oh, so your mom has spirit guides that talk to her about just your love life. That sounds normal. It actually does. <laughs> actually, pretty pretty run of the mill if you travel Facebook. Uh, so she definitely shifted for Sarah Decker. I wonder if she turned into Dr. Really Decker. I didn't really know what I was doing that first time. I mean, I didn't actually expect anything to happen. I just thought, what would really help this woman? I thought maybe she would just imagine that he was there. But it actually happened. I changed into him, Dr. Decker. Mm. It blew my mind. So it wasn't until after she saw Decker for the first time that this even happened. Yeah, it was like the third time. Then she turned into Dr. Decker the first time. Okay. So we've wrapped up everybody now. All right. New day. We've Get a little bit in this everybody. episode before we jump on out. All right. So let's go to the next day. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, please bring us some new patients. New outfits. You can stop looking at me like that. You've made me do this. Whoa. And don't try and escape. You're all tied up. Now tell me the truth. 
Is this a dream? Whoa. Oh damn! See, I told you she was f fly, dude. <laughs> oh, she's all. She told us she was whips and chains in the bedroom, dude. Ew, why is Jaya in our face right all now? All right, let's go. Let's talk. I can't to switch her. to anybody else, man. This is a, yeah. We just gotta talk to her. No, let's she's go. scaring me, dude. Do it. No, it's not a dream. Let's say no. I don't want it to be a dream. Nope. Uh, I hope it ain't a dream, girl. That's the wrong answer, Doctor. This. Is most definitely a dream. Ah. Now, tell me, do you believe that people can have kinetic powers? Yes. I do not believe it. I live in the real world, Jonas. I don't okay. believe any of these people's psychosis. All right, I, fine. Say no. And I refuse to. I think you like it when I hurt you, Doctor. Okay, we were That's wrong. That's a worrying sign. People obviously have kinetic powers. That's how I'm here, testing you. Now, how do we treat people with kinetic powers? Do we encourage them or do we discourage them? We discourage. We know that because when we said encourage, she told us we were wrong. Yeah, she, she smacked us, dude. She, I don't want to get smacked again. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't like this part of the, of the fantasy. All right, we should discourage him. Very good, oh. Doctor. That's okay. the right answer. Remember it, or there will be consequences. Now, since I'm here, let's have a little bit of fun. Shall we? No, I don't like this. Yeah, what is... I don't want to, I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play you in. I don't want to play... What do we got here? Crime scene. Oh, report. we've already done all yeah, that. We just it moved over. the next day. We just had to have a sex dream with. Oh, wait. Was there something else? No, there was nothing else. Okay. All right. So that was just a little sex dream with what's her face. I know. I want to do it again and get a better score. Are you sure? Yes. Why would be someone else in my hour? I brought David back to life. I removed the chains, dressed her. It was Iris. We could try shifting now. Would you like to see David, Doctor? <sighs> Sorry. We both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind, and that broke. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are grateful if you could see your way to declaring me insane, or at least temporarily insane. There was no flame, and then there was. I'll kiss a guy. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. And then he just follows me. Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? Wherever I go. You may just still pull out in front of the driver. I want to see these other folks that we only got to saw one. Act four, dreams. Dun, dun, dun. Morning, Doctor. You're looking a bit unwell. Are they getting you all wound up? Well, have a look at this. I found it in Dropbox. Apparently, Dr. Decker lent Mariana some money. Oh. Sounds dodgy, doesn't it? She I said also she got the broke. toxicology report back from Officer Yates. And shocker... Dr. Decker had, sorry, you just have to read it. I should have spoiler alert tattooed on my forehead. And can we not do the grief counseling thing today? I'm all sorts of behind on work and I'm getting more stressed out watching it all pile up. If you need anything though, I'm here. Oh, she's nice. All right, well, let's look at the reports then. Yep. I had a feeling that Dr. Decker was uh, funding Mariana. Oh, nice um, dress today. Too. She looks she looks different too, though. Yeah, I like the white. Let's, That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, Jaya thinks I should tell all the patients I can stop their problems. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So let's see. Let's see who's all available to talk to. Then we'll look at the evidence. Uh, we have Nathan. Okay, so he's back. Okay, he's same as always. We have Mariana. Mariana. We saw her. We have Jaya, who's wearing a vastly different outfit from what she was wearing in our dreams. The she's throwing stuff at, at yeah, us, man. dude. Keeping she's, us in line. She's trying to keep us submissive to her he's got elin oh she looks distraught today Dude, i like elin she's my favorite elin best girl claire oh, wearing looks... purple hose all right purple hose we got bryce all right oh do we get to get the fire starter and scarlet oh she's new hell yeah wearing a red dress okay glenn glenn 
Oh my god, it's a man named Glenn. <laughs> With a Y, <laughs> not a B. Bro. Anyways, let's look Bruh. at the uh, let's, let's look at the look evidence. The reports. All right, we got the... loan agreement. Yeah, loan agreement. All right, fifteen thousand pounds. Holy crap! By signing this agreement, the homeowner agrees to accept the sum of the loan amount and to rep repay the loan amount in full within the term stated. The sum of the loan will be transferred by the lender into an account de designated by the borrower within 14 days of signing the agreement. It is agreed that the loan shall attract no interest in lieu of accruing interest to the lender has been agreed to payment. And he uh, gave her a three here. year $15,000 loan with Good zero interest. Him, Good for him. This is legal jargon. Yeah, it's, it's really nothing to say. It, one pound arrangement fee. So she gave him a dollar for $15,000 to what's... not have to pay it back for three years with no interest. That's what's up. He was hitting it, dude. Anyways. What let's do you see, mean? Let's see this toxicology. What do you mean he was? Come on. Give him more credit than that. Hey, Glenn. So let's see. Oh, All we right. had ethanol in his body. Report from J.M. Clausen, named Dr. Decker. Ethanol. Okay. Acetone negative, isopropyl, T tamazepan, benzo. He, so he was taking sleeping pills. So there was tamazepan in his system and ethanol. Doesn't that mean they they knocked him out with a with a chloroform? Yeah, perhaps. Oh. But I don't think to. I'm thinking of something else. I have to look those up. All right. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's actually talk to somebody. A All little right. Bit well, here. we gotta do that one on the next one though. But Scarlet though. Okay. Yeah, so anyways, <laughs> she looks like, I can't wait to talk to Scarlett. <laughs> <laughs> we both had the same ideas, too. I know it. Uh, right, let me put this on the screen so I actually stay for the end. <laughs> uh, she looks different right there, doesn't she? Her hair looks different or something. I, mean, I guess, dude. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, hit that notification bell for Jonas. Yeah, uh, We out.